In the wake of several petitions filed at the election tribunal after the just concluded general election, many Nigerians now have their eyes set on the judiciary. And so, a story emanating from Nasarawa State about judges of area courts in a state without law degrees is generating a debate on social media. Well, on Wednesday, the Speaker of the State's Assembly, Ibrahim Abdullahi, during a consideration of a report by the Committee on Judiciary, Ethics and Privileges on a bill to amend the Nasarawa Area Courts Law 2022, advised judges of area courts to get the required educational qualification within 10 years or risk losing their jobs. The speaker highlighted the principal law which provides that for one to be a judge of the upper area court, one must be a legal practitioner without at least four years post-call. And for one to be a judge of an area court, you must be a legal practitioner with at least three years post-call. Well, the committee recommended the window period of 10 years to be granted to the affected judges to enroll into a degree program of law in order for them to be called to bar. The speaker fixed May 9th for the third reading of the bill. Dr. Abati, you know, I, I cannot comment <laughs> on this subject as much as I would like to, but I would like some clarification on this case. I mean, they are judges, but they don't have a law degree. I mean, what, what, what okay. is <clears throat> okay. area court to start with, a judge First, of an area court? The jurisdiction of area courts, mm -hmm. customary courts, and all that. This is an area court in the northern part of uh, Nigeria. The question to ask is, what does the enabling law, what does it say about the mode of appointment of judges to these area courts? Many of these area courts in the north, they deal with Islamic law anyway. So what does the law say? Now, in this particular case, we're told that the Narasarawa House of Assembly is trying to amend the law, and it's in the process that this came out that, look, what the principal law says is that for you to be a judge of an upper area court, you must have been a lawyer four years post-call mm. of an area court, as the lower court in the hierarchy there, the hierarchy of courts. You, you must uh, be a lawyer three years post-call. So the question you now ask is, how did certain judges get onto <laughs> the bench of this area court? Now they are being given 10 years to go and acquire <laughs> a law degree to be qualified uh, uh, judges. So you ask the question, why is the proposal in the in the amendment, 10 years, because that would mean go and get a jam form, you know, get admitted, go and study law, and then, you know, go to law school, and well, then come back, strike. come back to your, to <laughs> your, <laughs> your well, you know, if, well, if there is a strike in between, <laughs> then of course, they may be on that program for the next uh, 10 years. So while they are like back in school, will those uh, judges, will they be uh, sitting? So there are questions to be asked there. However, the other thing to know is that at certain levels in, in the courts, there are lay magistrates. These are persons who are not lawyers, who are, you know, lay magistrates. Some people are justices of the peace. You know, they, they also function within the Nigerian judiciary. And the principle there is that law basically is about common sense. Uh, you know, because, um, you know, what do you say? Uh, the, the, what the law says in the thinking of a reasonable member of society. But these lay magistrates, they won't go as far as dealing with a very uh, serious matter. So we need to look at the jurisdiction of those uh, area courts involved and why those judges were appointed in the first place if they are not lay magistrates and they are supposed to have certain level of qualifications. And then amending the law and saying, oh, take 10 years to go and get a degree. Then what happens to the dispensation of justice in this regard? Absolutely. So the bench is not like, like it's just like any other profession. You, you can't, you, if you are not a carpenter, you can't go into carpentry. You will cause problems. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the law, you can't say you want to pronounce upon uh, the law, except you are a member of a jury or a lay magistrate. Absolutely. About the judges, I'm Absolutely. not surprised. This kind of country we live in, OG. As from today, please, you can call me judge. <laughs> because it's obvious that we, you don't need to judge have... Judge Refai. Yes, judge. I like it. <laughs> judge. Dr. Abati, please call me judge. You have to have a law degree. <laughs> you don't have to have a law degree in Nigeria. That's the sad reality. And that's the kind of country, you know, I think... Niger you see, the kind of absurdities that happen in Nigeria, 
are kind of things Kafka, Franz Kafka talked about in one of his novel. So this is a Kafkaesque reality in our country today. It's just like all sorts of people are being called engineers without any engineering degree. As long as you can repair a fan somewhere, say engineer, 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 you two, you see. Just like people that are being called engineers, they, they, they even learn structural engineering or anything. But that's the kind of society we live in.